today I'm going to do a product review on this OBD2 scanning Bluetooth device by OBD Botech. Let's go ahead and get started. Now this is how the device comes. Comes in this little cardboard box here. Open it up and this is what you get right here. Now this particular um, scanning tool here is $4.99 I believe on eBay. And I believe how it's pronounced is OBD Botech or Botech as you can see there. So that's the brand, at least that's the markings that are on this one here. And then here on the back it just says OBD2. Now this particular device is compatible with the app Torque Pro that's available on the Google Play Store. I believe they only make it for the Android. It's only $4.95. So between this and that app, you're looking at a pretty decent OBD2 scanner with a lot of cool functionality and features for less than $10. So what you get is this. Pretty much just plugs right in to the OBD port and it communicates to the um, to the app on your cell phone or tablet or whatever you have it on via Bluetooth. What you also get is you get this little setup manual here, which pretty much tells you how to set it up and uh, get everything all functioning properly. So I went ahead and followed it. It was very easy to follow, easy to set it up, and was able to get it working and using it very fast. So why don't we head to the vehicle so we can go ahead and plug this in, fire up the Torque Pro app, and let's see how it works. We're going to go ahead and plug this in to the OBD port on the vehicle and then we'll be able to set it up with our mobile device, setting up the Bluetooth connection so that way it acknowledges this device so that way we can start reading from it. Coming in on the driver's side here under the dash, we're going to be looking for the port, which is right over there. And that's where we'll be plugging into. On some vehicles, it's on the left side. On this one, it's here on the right near the center console. Some vehicles, they're tucked further back, as in the case with this one here. You can see there it is all the way up in there. And on other vehicles, as in this one here, it's right here on the driver's side, right near the door opening as opposed to being near the center console, as is, as is on a lot of them. It's right here. As you make contact, you'll see there the green light flashes, allow, allowing you to know that you are connected properly. Next, you're going to go to the Google Play Store, look for Torque Pro. In this case, I already have it, but you would go ahead and put that on there. Go ahead and install it. Once that's installed, it will be on your on your uh, device and then we can now set up the OBD2 with through the Bluetooth connection. All right, so we have the app installed. Go ahead and click on that. And then now what we're going to do is we need to then go into the Bluetooth setup. So we'll go into setup, go into settings, OBD2 adapter settings. And then at that point you're then going to choose a Bluetooth device. and it picks it up right here. That's it, it's set up. Now since this is already set up, I can't do the whole process, but normally you have to put the password in and the password comes with the device when you get it. Enter the password, it'll link it as I have here. So now we're good to go. So now we can go ahead and back out. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn the power on the vehicle and I'll show you some of the scanning functionality on this. You don't wanna start the car, but you just wanna turn it just to turn the power on. Now on the main page of Torque Pro, and this is a really cool app, even if you're not using this particular OBD2 Bluetooth scanner that I'm doing the product review on, but this particular app is very cool. You can do, get real-time information. As you're driving your vehicle, you can connect to the different sensors and track different things with the misfires, everything. It's really cool. I usually keep it connected at all times. Every time I drive any of my vehicles, that way you can kind of kind of see the computer talking to you as you're moving along. You can also check fault codes. You can go here, do fault codes. Takes a little bit of time, but it's going through everything. Okay, no fault codes, so that's good. Go ahead and back out here, back to the main menu. You can go in here to the settings and you can set up your vehicle profile. 
I have it set up for all of my cars, so that way, depending on your miles per gallon, all that, it tracks all your history, and that way, when you get into each vehicle, it'll calculate all that for you. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So we go into real-time information here, and you can set up your different gauges on the Torque Pro app, however you want that. And uh, you can just kind of drag and drop. And I'm not doing a review on this particular app, so I'm not going into all those details for the app. This is specifically for this Bluetooth device. Torque Pro, in general, does not recommend buying these cheap devices. That was one of the reasons why I wanted to do it and see how it worked. So I'm going to go ahead, set some of these up, and then we're going to go ahead and see how, how it's uh, sending the information in and uh, do a review of this. Okay, let's go ahead and connect. And see there, it's connecting. Looks good. And you can see there, once you've made the initial Bluetooth connection, and this device is actually communicating with the app in real time, you'll have those green indicator lights constantly Constantly strobing through, letting you know that it, it that it's talking back and forth with the app via the Bluetooth. In the event that it does lose connection, the, those lights will go out, and you'll be left with just the red light. So you'll easily be able to see that um, that the connection's been lost. Connected to OBD. Okay, that pretty much lets us know that Torque Pro has made a good uh, Bluetooth connection with that device that we are reviewing. So now that that's in, it's transmitting the data. And on Torque Pro, and like I said, I'm not doing a review of that, but these are all the, here's the things that I like to look for. The oxygen sensors is what I was tracking last. So I've got that set up here. You have all these other things. You can check your engine load, miles per gallon, coolant temperatures, all that. Now, if you go back to the main menu, you can do what's called a test result. Hit that here. And this basically allows you to see via this OBD2 sensor, I mean this OBD2 scanner, these are all the components in this particular vehicle, which right here, this one here that I'm using right now is a Chevy. The, and all the ones that are highlighted green are ones that it's getting an accurate connection to. So you can track all of these things. You have here, uh, let's see here what we've got. Let's see. And one of the things I did, like, here's some of your cylinder misfires. Um, a lot of stuff is not coming up. I don't know if that's the Bluetooth device or if it's the ECU, because I noticed that on a lot of foreign cars, Nissans, Toyotas and stuff, Kias, you're getting a, a clearer reading, uh, meaning that on uh, Torque Pro, the things that it can read, this Bluetooth device is more compatible with those cars. I've done uh, Chryslers and Chevys. General Motors, things like that, and it's not as much. So I don't know if that's the OBD2 sensor or the fact, as I mentioned earlier, that some of the vehicles, the American vehicles I have are older, so maybe the computers just aren't communicating as well. However, with this here, you can go through and you can pick what you want. And basically, if you're setting up your charts, and I'll show you here. So here on your interface, if you... Click here and hold down, add display. You pick what kind of display you want to use, whether it's a bar display, a digital display, graph, whatever. So let's just pick this one. And then this now takes you into all the different sensors and readings that, it, that, that it's picking up for this vehicle. If it's highlighted green, then you can use it. So, or you can just view it at this level and you can see here that it's actually reading some of the information coming through. So you can look at it at this level as well. Now I will say, on a Dodge, I was not getting it to give me any of this. It was giving me an error saying that that particular device was not compatible with that ECU. But if you select that, pick, uh, let's see, we'll do a small, and then you can just kind of line it up, drag it, and drop it wherever you want to put it. And then now it's added that gauge to it. There are some presets in there as well. But then, as I mentioned, this is Torque Pro. Since we're not doing a review of that, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. But as you can see, that Bluetooth device does communicate well. I know some people had mentioned that some of those cheap, uh, the cheaper Bluetooth devices, like the foreign-made stuff on eBay, which a lot of it is crap, I admit that. 
But with this one here, it looks like all the readings are coming through in real time. They're coming through accurately. Overall, I'm very satisfied with this. I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. And combining that with the Torque Pro app, you can do some really good diagnostic readings on your car. I've used it for tracking O2 sensors. I've used it for tracking um, misfires on cylinders, ignition coils, all kinds of stuff. It, it's actually very cool stuff on there. I know there's some other Bluetooth um, OBD2 scanners and uh, apps they go with that are a lot more expensive, and I'm sure they do a lot more. But for under $10, you're getting the OBD2 scanner for $4.99. You're getting the Torque Pro app, the the unlocked full version for $4.95. So for under $10, you're getting all this, all this reading capability to communicate with your ECU. I don't think you can beat that. I think it's an excellent deal. Um, what I do, as I've mentioned already in this video, is whenever I'm driving any of my vehicles, I'll connect to it. And I'm just listening to the to the ECU talking to me as I'm driving because the Torque Pro app will actually talk to you as it's picking up either pending or um, like confirmed fault codes. It, it's actually pretty cool because on the pending ones, it's not necessarily a fault code that will generate the check engine light. So normally, if you didn't have this app, you're driving your car and it's fine. But with this, the computer is talking back to you. So it's letting you know if certain sensors or different things are going wrong or below the, or, or, or below the threshold and not functioning properly before it gets to that point where it's generating the check engine light. And then you have a product that's actually failing or you're having a sensor that goes bad and you're trying to scramble to get that done. So I would highly recommend this because... Overall, I'm, I'm impressed with this Bluetooth device. I think it, it, it works good. You got a couple downfalls, like I mentioned, some of the vehicles, it's not giving all the data as it is on other ones. And then I did have the issue, as I just mentioned with, with my Dodge where, and keep in mind, it's an older Dodge, it's an 05, but I am able to connect in real time and see the charts and stuff being communicated through that Bluetooth sensor. However, when I try to just do an overall report on everything, as I just showed with this vehicle I'm in, which is a Chevy, I'm not getting anything. I'm getting an error message saying that that it's not compatible with that. So that's that that's on this Bluetooth device. So you could probably get a, a, a better one that would communicate more with with um, Torque Pro. But since I'm reviewing this one, that's the one that we're using here on this one. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up this video doing this review on this Bluetooth device, this OBD2 scanner. I hope this video helped you out and was informative. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. Um, overall, I would give this here, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it probably an 8 or 9 out of 10. I'm actually very impressed with it, except for the few things that I mentioned earlier with some of the compatibility issues with some of the different car manufacturers. Now, keep in mind, just to be fair, some of those cars I'm talking about, they're a little bit older, so maybe their ECUs are not as definitive as some of the new ones. I don't know, but overall, I think it works great. I was actually impressed with it for the price I paid for it. I wasn't expecting it to work as well as it, as it does. As mentioned earlier in this video, I use this every day. Depending on what vehicle when I'm driving, I've got all the profiles set up. I set them up through Torque Pro, plug this thing in every time I'm driving, and it works great. A couple, occasionally you'll get a little breakdown on the Bluetooth communication uh, where it'll kind of lock up and then it'll refresh itself. Whether or not it's this particular device or if it's my phone, I don't know. So to be fair to it, I'm going to say scale of 1 to 10, 8 or 9, highly recommend it. You can't beat it for $4.99. You can get it on eBay. Please uh, send me any questions, any comments. As I just mentioned, I would love to hear from you. Any feedback, any questions you may have about the device, please like this video, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.